and this is a Telemark 273 0150-8 emitter. And I'm going to start out by subassembling some components just to clear some of the stuff out of your path. So 632 by a half inch, get a flat washer, get one of your insulator collars, another one of the 632 by a half inch and a flat washer, the last insulator collar there. And you got your cathode blocks, cathode blocks, got them located. And you got a filament clamp the right side to the right cathode block. And you got the left filament clamp, which has two clamp positions. You're going to use the long side position for the 73 emitter because it's got a seven and a half turn filament. And you go get your titanium screw. You just get them started. Don't have to do anything fancy, just getting some of the hardware and some of the components picked up and organized. And maybe find one of your 632 by quarter inch screws in your mount bracket. And then you got a U bracket and it's got an 8 on one side and it's got an 8 on one side. You want to kind of line them up because there's an offset to the bracket, to the U-bracket, that you don't want to lose. And 632 again by quarter inch. Just get them started. You don't have to tighten them down or anything. Just get them snugged into place. And you 632 by 3 eighths. And then you got insulators and you got... Another one of your 632s by 3 eighths. You got a high voltage shield and high voltage insulators. Just kind of just rough fit them. You just snug them down. Then you mount your mount bracket. Move this stuff off to the side. You don't need it just yet. And you got an L insulator. Put that down there. And you grab your right cathode block and one of those pre-assembled screws with the insulator collars on it. Kind of put that into place. You don't have to, again, you don't have to lock it down. You just want to get it in position. Grab the last half inch screw. Get it snugged into place. Now you got your left cathode block. Line it up on there, grab a 632 by 3 8 and then your bus bar. And get those snugged into place too. Like I said, you don't lock them down, just get them positioned. And I got a sealer gauge here set for 30 thousandths. Get 30,000 gap between your two cathode blocks. Grab your torque wrench, which in this case is set to 15 inch pounds. Just snug them all down. Don't get them. Okay, got them all snug down. Then you go to pinching tight and locking them down. So your cathode blocks will. Hold their hold their thirty thousandths gap, right? And you go locate a seven and a half turn filament, set her down into place, kind of hold it in position with your thumb, snug down the left cat or filament clamp. You snug down the right one, kind of make sure your position is where it needs to be. And then lock it down, lock it down. Everything's seems to be going too smooth. And you put an insulator cross in this little place and a beam former. 
and you should have a, another titanium screw, 3 16 in length. Just put it in the back of your beam former. Now I put my thumb on the, then so I can push pressure inward and down to square it all up against it itself. And then lock it down. And then you got to check the check the gap between the filament and the beam former. And the gap should be 25 to 30 thousandths. So I'm set at 30. So even if it flexes back, it should be within 25 thousandths. Grab your Allen wrench again. It should have two 632 by 38 screws remaining. Get those started into your high voltage insulators. Get that one rolling. Like I said, you don't want it, you just want it all loose fit. You don't need it locked down. Then you put your anode in place. Again, just get it on there and get it snugged up. And sometimes you have problems with your screw. It wants to be... Okay, start the next one. And you just want them all snugged up. Not really tight yet, and they found a block. It's just it, it, anything that'll get you a 90 degree angle that you can push down and line up, help you line up that anode and square it up, and then tighten them down. And then move that off the side, and you snug up the lower screws. I always put my thumb and finger and they're forcing the mount bracket up with the cathode box. And then lock that one down. Put my thumb across the bus bars. And then I snug down the holding down between the mount bracket and the bus bars to push down on that. Lock that down. Again, same thing on the front side screw, 632s by 3.8s. Get them snugged up, push down, help you square everything up. Then you just take a look. You want, to, you want your beam former right about the same height as your anode and square. And that should give you a serviceable 273-0150-8 emitter.